Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chow with Lao. Today we're doing another one of my favorites, chicken and pineapple. Right guys, today we are gonna cook another one of my favorites, chicken and pineapple. As you probably can tell from a lot of my recipes, I have quite a sweet tooth. And when it comes to savory dishes, that still applies. And this is uh, something that my mum first made for me when I was a kid, and it's always been one of my favorites. So we're kind of borrowing from her recipe today, uh, which I hope she'll be proud about. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorites is because it's nice and sweet. There's a sharpness with the pineapple. There's some crunch with the pineapple and the onions and the, and the sweetness of the sauce. Oh, it's just really, really nice. It's, it's lovely. So for this recipe, you are going to need these things. We're going to need some salt and pepper. We're going to need some pineapple. I've got some fresh pineapple, uh, but tin pineapple is, is fine. In fact, you'll find that most of the restaurants and takeaways that you order this from use tinned pineapple. But because I have access to fresh pineapple, that's what we're gonna use. I've got some chopped onion. There's about half an onion in there. There's a clove of garlic. We're gonna need about 300 mils of uh, water for the sauce. You can use stock if you like, but water is just fine. I've got three tablespoons of tomato ketchup, some cooking oil, um, about a tablespoon of sugar, some light soy sauce, some sesame oil, the actual chicken, I'm using chicken breast here. I'm using one chicken breast per person. So I've got two chicken breasts in here because I'm imagining we're cooking for two people. I've got some corn flour, which we'll mix with water to do the thickening, okay? So the first thing that I've already done is chop the chicken up into little strips, as you can see. And I've done that with uh, a marinade of sesame oil, about a teaspoon of sesame oil, about two, uh, two teaspoons of light soy sauce, and a teaspoon of sugar, okay? That's in addition to the tablespoon of sugar which is going in the sauce, sorry, I forgot to mention that. So without further ado, get your woks ready. Right guys, so the chicken is still marinating in the sesame oil, uh, light soy sauce and sugar. I'm going to deal with the pineapple. We've got about, what, a third of a pineapple here, which will reduce quite a lot by the time I've cored it and skinned it. Um, so what we're going to do is take the skin off first, because we don't want that. We're going to give a big shout out to fresh fruit and veg Nottingham City Centre who delivered this. Um, the fruit is really, really good. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just that they're doing a really cracking job, especially right now. And you can find them on Facebook. If you're local to Nottingham, check them out. They are brilliant and a, a, a lifesaver right now. <laughs> and the quality of their fruit and veg is really good. Although at the moment, I think, I believe they're mostly doing fruit. Um, but check them out. You'll see what they've got on their lists. So we take the skin off all the bits we can't eat. And then we cut this bit in half. And then into quarters. Like so. And then we can take the core out. which is not nice to eat. Okay, and then we can do a little bit of a Del Monte and chop them into the right size chunks. I love fresh pineapple. I could eat this right now. In fact, I'm gonna. <laughs> what do they call it? Chef's privilege. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not the meals that make me rotund. It's the snacking whilst cooking. <clears throat> cool. So from about a third of a pineapple, we've got this, which is easily a large tin of pineapple. So that's great. How much you use in your recipe is totally up to you. Um, this probably might be a little bit excessive for that. So I'm gonna have another piece. Sue me. Right guys, here we go. First in, oil. So about a tablespoon of oil. 
get that nice and hot as always. I've got my half uh, roughly chopped onion in here and a clove of garlic, which I haven't chopped into fine pieces. Um, Chinese tend to kind of get a clove of garlic and just wallop it with the, uh, with the meat cleaver and you get this nice kind of crushed garlic, which will give its flavor. Uh, you can chop it how you want, to be fair. Uh, I quite like eating big chunks of garlic, that's just me. Alternatively, if you don't like garlic at all, don't put it in. Totally up to you. I like it in this flavour. It just gives the uh, the sweet sauce a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a bit of savoury, a bit of a bit of um, umami, umami. What's the word? Umami. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So we get this on. You'll find it spits a lot, so be careful. Okay. And that's just starting to soften now, so I'm going to add my chicken. Get a heat up. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just kind of browning the chicken off. Don't move it too much yet, because then we're going to get a nice caramelization of the chicken. We don't want to boil the chicken, we want to fry the chicken and seal it in, sealing that flavor, sealing that texture, otherwise it is in danger of becoming mush, and we don't want that. Okay, here we go. Now we can start stirring it. Give it a good little toss. Okay, try to make sure that everything gets cooked evenly as possible as the chicken starts to cook. This is where I'm going to add the pineapple because I want the pineapple to caramelize a bit as well. as I can because we've added more stuff to the wok that'll bring the temperature down a little bit so I've gone I've got I kept it on full flame with this amount of stuff in the wok it isn't going to burn anytime soon there's no real sugar in here apart from the of sugar in the marinade so just keep an eye on it and once things have started to come together we can add our ketchup And this will give us more sweetness and a little bit of tang from the tomatoes as well. Don't be afraid of using ketchup. The Chinese use it regularly in a lot of meals. It works, what can I say? We're not going to get too snobby about it. And it also gives it a nice colour as well. It just kind of make it a little bit sort of orange without making it it's not going to be a nuclear kind of red, it's just going to be a nice orange. Toss that through, it's starting to come together now. Now we can add our water. To avoid cooling the wok too much, I boiled the kettle before I started the recipe so that water is quite hot. So it'll come up to temperature again quite quickly. And obviously this will start cooking the chicken on the inside as well, so we're not in any danger of leaving any raw chicken. Okay. I'm not going to add any soy sauce because the soy sauce is already in the marinade. And there's plenty, there's plenty for a dish like this. And we've got a bit of salt and pepper running through that, so that's all good. I can add the sugar now, a tablespoon of sugar which will just add to the sweetness. What I don't tend to do is add any MSG. 
I know you hear a lot about it, especially when it comes to takeaways and restaurants. And I think it's kind of vilified a little bit because I would put MSG on the same level as salt in terms of how not good it is for you. Just because it's a weird sounding sort of chemical name doesn't mean it's absolutely awful for you. I try to avoid it because obviously, especially these days, we want to eat as healthily as we can. And it does make a bit of a difference, but I don't miss it. I don't miss it. And sometimes when you've gone to a takeaway or a restaurant that puts too much MSG in, you know it because it kind of makes you really thirsty. And also I suffer from MSG induced headaches if I have too much in. I always know when people have put too much MSG in because I get a headache afterwards. <clears throat> don't know why that happens, it just does. Right, so it's been cooking there for about three or four minutes. And we're gonna add the finishing touch which is our tablespoon of corn flour which is uh, mixed in with some water and this will thicken it up without making it taste too floury. Okay, so we put quite a bit of that in. You can see it cooling it down and also start to thicken it up. That's probably be about right. How sort of um, runny or how thick you want it, totally up to you. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I didn't finish off my 300 mils. So you can just balance it up like that. And there we have it. Just let it bubble away for a little bit longer. <clears throat> Ready to serve. Cool. And I'll pop some in this little bowl of mine. Carefully. There you go. Cool. And there you have it, guys. Chicken and pineapple. Get your taste buds ready. Okay, people, here's the finished dish. One of my faves. And that's good. I'll tell you what, my, one of my favorite things to do from since I was a kid, you know, when you get prawn crackers from takeaway or restaurant, use it as a spoon to shovel this in. It's great. Something about prawn cracker and this sweet sauce is just magic. I haven't got any prawn crackers tonight, I forgot. <clears throat> but hey, this is really good. You gotta try this, you gotta try making this. Very easy, it's very satisfying, and it's just very, very Moorish. And sweetness isn't too sweet, it's not over, uh, I don't make it so it tastes like candy. Um, but you can still get the nice flavors from the garlic, the onions. The fresh pineapple is really good in this, actually. If you can get fresh pineapple, I recommend it. But tin pineapple is fine. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I could have this pretty much every day. So guys, if you've liked what you've seen today, please like this video. And if you want to, please subscribe and uh, look out for our future videos because we're gonna be making loads of them. So see you soon. Bye.